Hi, this is Ed Downs at Abrico Incorporated, manufacturer of Pie Master turnover machines and dough rollers. Uh, it is early in the morning, and we're finishing creating up this machine to ship. So I wanted to show you um, when you get in here what you need to do. And this is very important. Um, all of the pieces in here are numbered in the order you need to remove them. Um, the outside panel, which I'm looking into where it will be to close it up, it'll have a number one on it. You remove that first. You remove that piece second, and there's also, way underneath there, there's a couple of screws holding the transmission in. And then you release this top bracket, same thing, some screws up here. When you release this top bracket, the transmission is free to fall, and it's heavy. So make sure when you uh, remove that top brace there, after you remove the bottom, that uh, there's somebody there to catch it. And then you come up here to, uh, where am I, there you go, the... Uh, piece that holds the hopper in um, there's one in the back that you don't that will not be removed this is number four up front here so you remove you remove this piece right here number four and uh, the hopper will, will slide the hopper will slide straight out towards you um, also this transmission mounting bracket right here behind these behind these uh, cleats that are numbered this does not get removed it stays in place you're just taking off these cleats and removing these screws on top and bottom to get transmission out the back piece here holding the transmission up will stay in also. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then after that, um, you come to the outside and, uh, nope, number, oh, number four will be the top, uh, excuse me, number five will be the top. Uh, you take the top off the side, just follow the numbers. Pretty simple. That's the way you remove them. There's screws all around this thing. There's some on top. Um, I'll try a circle. I usually try to circle all the ones you have to take out. Um, some of them are up on top of the lid that are uh, coming in from the top to hold the transmission mounts in. Uh, then when you get inside, um, you'll see there's, uh, to, to get the machine out, you don't need to mess with this. But once you get the machine out, there's uh, cable ties all over the place, keeping things from moving around. So you just look for those, you'll see them. And then there's cleats in here that are holding the base plate down around here, around the back, and then around around the other side. Um, those are pretty intuitive. You just look for those and remove them and then uh, the machine will be the machine will be free to move out um, So it's important you keep this crate it is the only way to safely ship this machine um, I know it might be kind of a pain to store it, but uh, find a way to do it You know, it'll all be broken down into pieces. So stack it up find a You know something a, a corner an attic a basement <laughs> somewhere where you can put it because if you ever need to ship this machine whether it's coming back to us because there's been some sort of a catastrophic maintenance problem that we need to come have it come back to, which uh, is not going to happen, uh, or if you sell it. Uh, it really is the only way to ship this machine. So anyways, that's the basics of that. Uh, there'll also be a toolbox in here that's got your spare parts and tools in it, and um, we'll go through that uh, briefly, what's inside there. Okay, we're out here um, in uh, our little... The warehouse area, uh, just want to give you a quick look at what comes with your spare parts and toolkit. Uh, your power cords in here. There's a can of that uh, anti-seize that you want to put on every single screw. When you're putting them in and out, there is a, uh, uh, a, a solenoid air valve. There's your um, gear, uh, gear oil. Uh, we do not uh, put it in the machine in the air, uh, oil mister before it leaves. Uh, we ship it dry, so you'll uh, need to add that uh, when you uh, before you put your machine in service. There's some insulated screwdrivers for um, electronics. There's an extra air filter. There's a full wrench set in there for uh, every single nut that's on that machine. There's uh, hex uh, wrenches. There's an extra uh, drive belt for the conveyor. There's extra springs. There's a stubby uh, wrench for the knife adjustment. Some other hand tools in there. Um, you'll also get an extra um, actuator for the knife, extra reed switches for the knife, fuses, uh, mold screws, push button switch covers, end cover screws, uh, put opera switches and roller switches, and there'll be some more goodies in there as well. Also, the orifice that's going in your hopper will be in here. We ship the machine with a, uh, a, a shipping orifice. It's just a it's a it's a junk one, but we like to get it back. Um, that way it, uh, it doesn't get it beat up sticking out of the bottom of the hopper tube during shipping, uh, your knife guard and uh, splash guard will be in here as well. And, uh, whatever else, um, 
that we uh, that we include with this. So you get a lot of stuff. There's uh, only thousand dollars worth of uh, things in here. The uh, you know with the with the actuator and the solenoid air valve. Um, you get pretty much everything you need. The machine is completely assembled with hand tools. So uh, with what we give you in hand tools, you could just about take the thing apart and put it back together if you wanted to do that for some reason. So anyways, that's what comes with that. That'll be inside uh, the crate with your machine. All right, we're back here at the crate, ready to close up the end here. Uh, we've got the toolbox in, a uh, couple of straps there, just easier to cut those uh, than try and take the screws out when you get it. Um, quick note about the toolbox still, uh, my, one of my things, if you dedicate this toolbox to this machine and you don't steal the screwdrivers to go work on the plumbing in the bathroom or something, you will never ever need a tool for this machine for regular you know routine maintenance and preventive maintenance changing out a part everything you need in that toolbox so if you kind of just dedicate the machine and don't let anybody steal from it you'll always have what you need um also uh i don't know if i said earlier on the hopper when you take out this front uh support here that's holding it up to the ceiling of the crate it's free to fall away so when you remove this front piece you have someone there ready to to take the hopper out um the uh the back piece does not come out like i said earlier and then down there underneath the uh, orifice it's hard to see now there's a big foam just a pillow um you can take that out first uh once you get the uh excuse me once you get the top uh break uh, brace removed um or loose then you can pull that out so the whole hopper will come out easier and remember the hopper is very heavy so have someone that's capable of holding it up uh, the auger is inside the hopper with some padding around it um, in, in there like it would be on the machine. And, of course, when you're taking the whole machine out, once you free up uh, the, the crate completely where the machine can come out, what do we always want to be aware of? The knife, the knife, the knife, the knife, the running chainsaw. Um, it's got a uh, foam cover over it for shipping there. Um, you'll have a knife guard, the uh, Delrin knife guard to put on it during operation. But, uh, anyways, when you take it out of the crate, uh, always be aware of that knife when you're looking for a grab point. Um, when you're moving the machine, you can grab the um, uh, the support arm there that holds the hopper up. That obviously, because it supports the hopper, it's a pretty robust piece in there. It's you know welded stainless steel, and it's bolted to the base plate. So if, uh, towards the back there, if you need a grab point, um, you can grab that. Uh, do not lift it up by the conveyor end or anything like that. Um, you have to get underneath the base plate, but you, on, on that end of the machine, you can use the... Uh, support arm so that's about it uh this will be rolling all the way across the country a uh, little three thousand mile journey uh, which always scares me hopefully um the people shipping it uh care as much about it as i do uh so anyways uh we will pick this up um probably uh, do another video um with some safe more safety stuff just to always remind you that and then just some tips and pointers um things that we hear from customers in the field that uh make a little bit uh, easier to be successful with the machine. Okay, thank you very much for watching.